Having co-workers sticking their noses into your work and overstepping boundaries is incredibly frustrating. Whether they are acting with good intentions or not, it feels condescending, it's undermining you, and it's annoying, all of which will have a negative impact on your work. Telling a co-worker to back off without offending them or causing a scene isn't always easy, but it's possible. In this video, we'll explore some effective ways to communicate your boundaries and get your message across. Let's dive in. If a coworker is constantly asking how your project is going or offering unsolicited advice, it can be tough to know how to tell them to back off without sounding rude. The key is to be direct but also maintain a level of professionalism and respect. Here are some phrases you can use the next time a coworker starts to overstep their boundaries. 1. I appreciate your interest, but I've got this covered. 2. I'm not comfortable discussing this with you. 3. This is something I need to figure out on my own. 4. I'd prefer to keep this between me and my team, thanks. Remember, it's okay to be direct, and it's better than saying nothing at all or just keeping your frustration inside. If a coworker is crossing the line, don't be afraid to let them know. With a little finesse, you can tell them to back off in a way that won't damage your relationship or cause any drama at work. But what if you need to politely tell a coworker to leave you alone? especially if you think the person is easily offended. Here are some phrases you can consider. 1. I'm sorry, but I'm really trying to focus on this on my own. 2. Can we please table this discussion for now and discuss it later? 3. Thanks for your input, but I think I'll handle this one on my own. 4. I appreciate your help, but I've got this covered. 5. I know you're trying to help, but I just want to work on this alone for now, thanks. Dealing with people who are easily offended can be challenging. Remember, it's okay to offend them if you have no other choice and you're in the right. The important thing is that you're able to do your work to the best of your ability. Don't let the fear of offending someone prevent you from getting your work done. Now, what if you have a bossy coworker? It can be difficult to know how to tell them to back off without sounding like you're not interested in their help or you don't value their opinion. Here are some phrases you can use. 1. I appreciate your interest, but this is my problem to deal with, not yours. 2. Don't you have your own tasks to get on with? 3. You always seem more interested in what I'm doing than what you are. 4. I see where you're coming from. If I need your help, I'll be sure to ask. Thanks. Remember, it's okay to be direct, and it's better than saying nothing at all or just letting the frustration build up to the point where you burst. Communicating your boundaries effectively is essential to maintaining a healthy work environment. But how can you identify if a coworker is overstepping boundaries in the first place? Here are some signs to watch out for. 1. Do they constantly ask how your project is going or offer unwanted advice? 2. Do they always want to be included in every meeting, even if it's not relevant to them? 3. Do they always want to know every little detail about what you're working on? 4. Do they try to micromanage you or take over your projects? 5. Do they always have to be right and need to have the last word in every discussion? 6. Do they constantly interrupt, bug, annoy, or generally pester you? If you notice any of these signs, it's a good indication that your coworker is overstepping boundaries. Trust your instincts and address the situation proactively. If you're unsure how to confront them yourself, Consider speaking to your boss or your coworker's boss to seek guidance and support. Remember, it's important to document instances of boundary overstepping and keep a record of the behaviors you're not comfortable with. This will help you in discussing the issue with your supervisor or HR if necessary. By asserting yourself respectfully and setting clear boundaries, you can create a healthier work environment and ensure your productivity remains unaffected. Thank you for watching. I hope you found these tips helpful in navigating challenging coworker situations. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more valuable content.